Yo, what's going on guys? Today we have Should You Spark for what's this? September Leg Fest or October Leg Fest? I I'll, I'll call it October cuz it lasts in, until October. So we have Should You Spark for October Leg Fest. This one is throwing a lot of content. I know people are going to be asking me about both Catalina and Rackham. I will be uh, filament breaking them as soon as possible and we'll throw videos out on them. Probably tackle some harder content solo and stuff like that with them. But until that, until then, until I'm done with this video, we'll be looking at the newest characters introduced into the game. I was actually correct on majority of things. If you go back and look at the previous Should You Spark in terms of my prediction. So you should look around for those because, you know, sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. Generally, I'm about right most of the time, though. Now, with that, the new banner, we have some big ones. We have a new grand unit being Monica. Monica has now appeared and everyone can get her. The character is ridiculous. As usual, a grand character of now 2019, they all got crazy skills and her skill kit looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> we got the Yu-Gi-Oh card text and things going on, link skills, combo breaks, I don't know, it's crazy, bro. I took a little glance at it, you know, before the video, so. We also have SSR um, Siegfried. I mentioned him being fire because I felt that they wanted to put all the four dragons in one element. Lancelot and Vayne already being in fire and you had Percival in fire. It only made sense for Siegfried to uh, go into fire. So rate up character Monica. New. Um, limited. Um, then we have Siegfried. Oh, what's that? What is this? Non-limited. Oh, what's it? No, yeah, non-limited. I think non-limited is fine. All right, and then we have Rosetta's dagger having a rate up. I did not see that actually coming, which is, um, I wouldn't say it's the best weapon, but it, it, it's it's an okay weapon, Rosetta. So um, this is probably what people are gonna be sparking for. The winner here, the uh, make or break. So we're gonna use make or break as the thing people are probably going for. So there we go. We also have La Coffee having uh, a coffee, I think, right? Coffee uh, having her SR now. I've been wanting this character for a while. I talk about her quite a bit for my favorite R character in the game. So her finally getting an SR, the big thing for me. Uh, also, we have a new summon being the Surter, the Water Surter. I think it's called the. Uh, Princess Long G? I thought it was I thought it was called something else. Um hmm. Maybe is that? I thought it was called something else. Huh, weird. Princess Long G, huh? Also, apparently you have a new system. New character unlock bonus. You can get Oh, you get a red ring, huh? Upon unlocking each character for the first time. Is this gonna be for every and you get 30 extended mastery points. Hmm. That's cool. A red ring though. A red ring on every new character unlock. It doesn't it does not only apply to these three, actually. It's pretty big. I think I should add that. Red ring. This is the first time. On new character. That's actually pretty big, actually. Red rings are like the most valuable ring you can get in the game. Um, extremely strong, especially if you want to get a little edge out on your character. Though this is not really that great for whales because the whales have most of the characters, but this is really big for people with low character pools. This is very, very good. Hmm. Okay. And the additional, uh, nothing here is new. Okay, cool. So let's take a little look here. Um, so about Monica, I'm pretty sure people want to ask about her. First of all, she looks stunning. Um, this is the outfit and <clears throat> the <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, this outfit looks great. I'm very happy they put this on her finally. God, <laughs> let me stop looking at this. So she got some Activate Violent Sock Flicker, which I believe is a upgrade of her original scale on the Arcarum version. 
Um, this one now applies stackable attack and defense now. Yeah, and she gets it on an Ogi, she gets out upon dodging. Oh, she's gonna keep the nuking every turn. Kalulu of wind. <laughs> it, it, it probably not cool with here because he probably won't dodge every turn but it, it's it's getting there bro it's, it's getting there they're really pushing the levels of where, what they're doing here also she gets dodge rate every time she activates a skill luckily though each of her skills so far have three turns maybe drops down to two turns I, I don't know i don't have her i'm just looking at her to gain bonus imperial elemental damage this probably get an upgrade though get removed one debuff also she heals too because you know you got to get bonus damage you got to heal you got to buff you got to dis dispel if you ain't doing all 25 things in grand blue you are not relevant so this character is a jack of all trades he does everything you need see the walmart <laughs> it's crazy this character is like why did why does the character have to like do everything in this game it's got paralyzed oh my lord oh it's only two turns though thank you god <laughs> Oh, it's got delay, paralyzed, dispel, keen. Keen is the effect that Kaliostro has. Um, it's supplemental damage. Damage cap up. W critical hits. We got debuffs, clearing debuffs. We should get the better heal. And then we have superior elemental damage only to her, though. But just know that not all these skills can be hit at once. You can only, since these skills are linked, you can only hit one of them, so that that's like their <clears throat> balancing of her. So that's her. Uh, in terms of sparking for her, I wouldn't right now. There's no there's no GW for win. Honestly, I'll, I'll tell you how it is. I don't recommend. I'll, I'll retype it in. Not recommend since GW for win um, takes uh, about three to four months. So what you could do um, should be should spark her during rat uh, rat uh, maybe a, a zodiac rate up. All right, so the reason I mentioned this right is that this is pretty big on her. Her not her she's gonna be here all the time, right? And you're probably not going to get a ton of value out of her. She doesn't have any skill that makes her like instantly change anything in terms of one turn. Yeah, she may do a little bit more damage, but would I really spark her on this banner right now? No, I wouldn't. I would wait. I would wait to wrap Zodiac right up. If you want her, get a spark on that banner, and then you have a chance of getting Rat while also going for her. That's how I'm gonna tell people. Since it's no DW right now for Wind. Um, I, I do not expect WinGW coming around the corner either, even if it was to come up. Since we have GW in November right now, we're currently in uh, September. Our next GW is in November. After November, there will be no GW in December because we haven't had a back-to-back -back GW in a very long time. So the next GW should be in January. And on January 1st is when Rat will appear. So... Personally, if you're going for this character, I recommend if you're not a whale, spark her on rat rate up. Um, you get more value for your spark. As for Siegfried, um, we'll take a quick look at him. So he apparently has a damage per turn mechanic, uh, kind of similar to Alanan skill three, uh, Prometheus weapon. So I, it's good for getting him into a midi. So that's the big thing for him. The Prometheus grid though, People who are running that this may overkill him so this may be a problem for that grid he does have his own healing in his ogi he also has a big phalanx uh for two turns so that's pretty cool and he has the drain effect on his skill three he also reduces damage i don't know the turn uh the turns on this skill right now so i i, I can't tell you for sure but i would not spark him <laughs> it's like simple so i mean no <laughs> no, <laughs> surprise to get at best are <laughs> wishful, wishful thinking. <laughs> well, no, surprise to get at first. Um, I'm gonna type in I know everybody doesn't know what ST stands for, so just in case anybody gets anything wrong here. So, yeah, surprise ticket at best 
or wishful thinking. I mean, this is how it goes. Unless you're a whale, you should not be getting tempted by, oh man, this character looks so strong right now. Yeah, but you can get him later. I mean, it's not going to make or break your game, dude. As for Rosetta Limited, um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Eunice. So the Eunice Grid, I think it's called Eunice, I think it's called, right? Eunice Grid. And performs better. Wait, what's it, what's it? Into the Void? Or Void? Vortex Into the Void? What's it called? What's Grimnir's weapon called? I'm gonna say Grimnir's weapon. I don't even know the name of it. Something like Vortex Into the Void. So right now, um, Zeph Grid, Rosetta's Dagger is better with the full, um, the full stamina grid with like three stamina Grimnir Spears and three daggers. But that's a lot of investment. I wouldn't really tell somebody to go spark that. As for the character, the character's not really relevant right now. Though she does have a chance of getting a five star in the, uh, she is gonna get a five star in the future. So you may want to keep that in mind. If you're really like hoping for the five star to be good, I wouldn't spark on the thought that she would be good. Um, you should spark after she is known to be good. In my opinion, there'll be another rate up banner for her around Win GW. So I really wouldn't spark her right now, personally. I, the big thing being that it just, Win is not what you need to be worrying about right now. Yeah, if you're, if you're a Win Lord, you're probably gonna ignore everything I'm saying to you. But I don't care. Spark, probably pulling, probably pulling a banner while you're watching this video. But for people who are not Win Lords, um, this is something you want to you want to uh, take note of. As for the summon, this summon is big, pretty big for water. Um, this is probably the. Uh, this these are now surprise ticketable, um, but. Big win for Varna. Big win for Varna. This is a big one. So I I wouldn't even spark this, but rolling under the banner, if you really want to maximize like Monica, Rosetta, and the summon, the, the summon's really good for Varna in harder content. So I, I wouldn't blame you for running the summon or wanting to run the summon. It's like actually really, really good with Kaliosha in the back, Lily, Europa. All that works perfectly well together. So, if you want to run it, I, I wouldn't recommend. I would not um, say it's bad because it's good. It really is good. The summon is good for water. Water works really well with Lily and the summon. And just having that free water attack up on double Varuna is extremely strong for pretty much every current meta water build. So, this that alone makes this very viable for major like 99.9% .9 of Varuna players. If that's you, then yeah. If you really like these two characters and you like this summon, yeah, this is probably worth it for you. But only in that scenario, if you plan on sparking. Rolling on the banner normally, I do not recommend rolling on this banner normally. Only spark. If you're free to play, spark only. You don't roll on random banners. Don't be tempted. Um, as for the rate up from them, let's take the rate up. I mean, look at the rate ups. So what we got here. So, rate uh the percent on the rate up on each character hmm, is it a bad percent? Oh, point three. Um, that's similar to last banner, isn't it? Point three. Let me check. That's not the greatest, but with Grand Blue's big roster, I mean, <sighs> it's kind of hard. Average at best. It, it's point three. Um. It's, it's getting kind of hard to get anything worth it, honestly, because of how many, it's the sheer amount of characters in the game, the amount of SSRs with no rate increase, no, with no rate increases in this game, it is rather hard for anyone to get the exact thing they want while sparking. And these percents are just going to keep getting lower as the pool gets bigger, unless they end up increasing the rate to, I believe they should, which I believe they should increase it to 8%. Right now we're currently at six, so unfortunately this is just how it's gonna go. Point three and then uh, point two five, point two. 
it's unfortunate. We haven't had a point six in God knows how long. Our point four five, it's 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 rough out here. Um, so like even when you spark a unit and you're sparking for these characters on their rate up, does not guarantee you're going to get them. It's it's actually really hard. I think I believe it's one in every twenty rolls. I believe with a point three. So yeah. That's about it. I believe that's covered everything. So we got the characters coming. Uh, we got the character, we got Monica, make or break for this banner. Not recommended though, since when GW is around the corner. Not when GW is not around the corner. Uh, Siegfried, not limited. So no surprise. No, the surprise. Let me put a comma so you know I'm bad at English. No surprise ticket at best. Um, our wistful thinking. Rosetta. The Zeph Unis grid bow does perfectly fine. It performs better with Grimnir weapon. Oh, I should have said weapons. Well, weapon. The point three red ring on the on the uh, new character is a big thing though. The red ring. I don't know. If, I don't know if this red ring thing is gonna be on another banner. This this is a big thing. I won't lie to you guys. The red ring. On a new character is a big thing however i would still hold it and just check if they're going to do this again or not I, I really don't know but the red ring is definitely definitely big raid up summons the so princess long g big win for varna so and let's talk about the next banner so the next banner i believe which is fly uh next banner Blast Gout October, right? Now, new uh, Halloween unit. So we should be getting a new Halloween unit. Or Lady. So th these are two options. We can either get a new Halloween unit, which is more likely. Or Lady Grey and Donna return. Um, it could be both of them combined. I should put or slash and. Or slash and. I believe last year, um, Lady Grey appeared on the 16th of October. So it's definitely possible that we get a new unit. Because Lady Grey was the last unit for 2018. So we could definitely get a unit around that time period. So a new Halloween unit. But we can also get the return of these two as well. Um, I, I'm trying to think anything else. I don't believe they mentioned anything about any events in 2019. I do believe Mirren's getting a full limit break, though. Hmm. Mirren's getting a full limit break, and then you have things like... I think that's about it, because no, there was no event announcement. And during the middle of the month, there's no real event. Siegfried's already the character for this event. So I think that it's going to focus on Halloween for next month. Especially with Rise of the Beast being in next month. That should carry into this banner. So we should get the Halloween unit. Um, I don't believe we're getting anything new in terms of SSR, actually. Uh, I'll even type that. No new SSR normal units. Only, I think only be getting Halloween stuff in the next Flash Gal. We will be getting no no more no new normal SSR units. So, meaning like you know a regular something that stayed in the pool normally. I don't think we're getting anything like that. No summon rate ups. So this this is what I believe the next banner to be. I could be wrong, but this is what I'm looking at. Flash Gal October. Um, as for the. If they're going to rate up a grand weapon, though. Hmm. What? what mm, okay, here we go. So, I don't believe... We, when the last time we had Black Knight's weapon rate up? Actually, didn't we have a rate up recently? So, we can have... Um, what's our name? What's our weapon called again? Blood Gang, right? Blood Gang. Blood Gang, Parazonium. And... Fallen sword, poss possible rate up. So this is about it for the next banner. Um, 
one of these three has a chance of having a raid up, I believe. Just to make them make time for the next GW. Uh, if I had to guess, Blood Gang is the lowest. Parazonium and Fallen Sword are the highest. One of these two I, are more likely than Blood Gang. So I remember having it having a raid up randomly about three months ago. So it must be Parazonium or Fallen Sword. Uh, we'll talk about it when that banner comes. I have a ton of stuff to catch up on right now with all the new content that got released. So I'll end the video here. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.